What's the most fitting case of vigilante justice you've ever heard of? A man in Shiner, Texas caught a guy snatching his daughter and beat him so badly that he ended up dying. The father did however call 911 and a grand jury didn't indict him. The father was 24 years old, and found a man snatching his 5-year-old daughter. He attacks him, realizes after he's gone too far, and calls for the law. This is just sad. He didn't want to kill a man, he just wanted to save his daughter. The man's name was Ken Rex McElroy. He terrorized the small town he lived in for years. He was accused of, regularly stealing from his neighbors stuff like livestock, gasoline, and antiques, robbery, harassing slash assaulting, to as young as 12, destroying property, including burning down his wife's parents' house when she tried to leave him, assault, including shooting at least two people. He was charged with various crimes at least three times a year, but he had an incredible lawyer. Dude was only ever charged with anything once. He used to intimidate witnesses against him by following them or parking outside their homes and watch them until they were too scared to testify against him. That one time he was charged, by the way? He shot a grocer in the neck with a shotgun. For that he was given a charge of second-degree assault. Max two-year sentence. But he appealed of course and got out on bail. So he goes into a bar and loudly threatens to murder said grocer, who survived the shotgun to the neck by the way. All that did was get his trial pushed back. Anyway so the town had a meeting, then a big group of them went to the bar where Ken liked to drink and shot him in the ducking head. The bar. A man's son was abducted by his karate teacher and snatched over quite a long period of time. The police caught him, and as they were bringing him through the airport, his father pretended to be on a payphone. When the guy and police walked by, he turned around and shot the guy in the head killing him instantly. This was all caught live on the news. The father wasn't charged with murder. He received five years probation. A 15-year-old boy imitated a 14-year-old girl to attract the attention of a pedophile. When the pedo went to his house, the kid beat him up and called the police on the guy. All done while wearing a Spider-Man mask. Someone replied, I can't find the video, but these guys found out one of their sister was being lured by a pedo, got her to give him their address and fake a story about no one being home, and they beat the ever-loving shit out of him. Super satisfying watch. About six years ago in Portland, there was this homeless dude going around beating his beef in front of all the homeless ladies. So this group of other homeless dudes got sick of this, so they waited for him to go into a porta potty one day then tipped it over on its door with him in it. Funniest thing I've ever heard. Akuyatov. He was an Indian gangster, robber, home invader, kidnapper, extortionist and serial killer. He terrorized a poor slum, to the point nearly every single woman in this community had been assaulted by him and daughters were just kept inside. He never got in trouble though because he bribed the police though, and only targeted Dalits, basically the untouchable caste in India. Seriously, the list of crimes is horrifying just skimming the article. It all came to a head when he turned his attention on a young woman who was studying to go to college and help the community. She stood up to him, and it ended with her threatening to blow up her own house if they broke in. She'd called the police during the standoff but they never came. That was the last straw for the neighbors. A mob formed and chased off his men by stoning them and then burned down his house, and he went to the police to get himself arrested for his own protection. When they took him to the court for trial, a mob was waiting and he actually threatened them. The police did nothing. More than that, one of his accomplices tried to pass him a knife, and the police only stepped in after the mob protested that. Next day he was attacked and beaten, but he was rescued by the police. The police had no intention of actually punishing him, and set up his bail hearing in another city. Hundreds of women marched there from the slums armed with knives and chili powder. Yadav was then lynched by the mob of 200 to 400 women who showed up. He was stabbed at least 70 times, and chili powder and stones were thrown in his face. The chili powder was also thrown into the faces of police officers who guarded him. The police officers, overwhelmed and terrified, fled immediately. One of his alleged victims also hacked off his penis. The lynching occurred in Nagpur District Court No. 7 on the marble floor of the courtroom as he was being lynched, Yadav was horrified and shouted, Forgive me. I won't do it again. The women passed their knives around and kept stabbing him, each woman agreed to stab Yadav at least once. The mob continued attacking his corpse. My first job was at a tire shop, and I worked with this older guy named Doug. He was around 60 years old, the nicest guy I've ever met. 
One day at work, a guy and his girl got into a heated argument in our parking lot, and the guy slammed her up against his car. Doug and I saw it, and Doug just looks at me, with a tire iron in his hand, and goes one second he walks over to the guy, drops his tire iron, and slams the guy in the ground. He whispered something to him that I couldn't hear from where I was, but the guy got up and opened the passenger door for her and they drove away. Doug walked back over and just started working on a car like nothing ever happened. I'll never forget it. I remember a newspaper article going around the internet about a junkie robbing a store. While fleeing, he was stopped by a few marines on leave, and he stabbed one of them. He then ended up tripping and breaking both his arms, seven ribs, his jaw and his nose, losing most of his teeth, and crushing his windpipe. A pretty infamous pedophile was released from prison in Ireland a few years back and for weeks after his release wherever he went there were stories of people beating him till he eventually had to leave the country, no one else was ever charged for the beatings. Back in middle school I admittedly bullied this other girl pretty bad, including once shoving her into some dog poop. One day her older brothers came by as I was walking home from school and forced me to eat dog poop. Somewhere in northern Ontario a few guys bagged a dude. Sack on head and beat him so bad he spent a long time in the hospital. Dude was physically abusing his wife and daughter. Cops came to the high school and questioned people. Everyone knew who did it. Boyfriend of the daughter, cops dropped all investigation soon after. My dad always tells me this story from when he was in college in NH. He was friendly with the cops in a small town. The story was that a well-known pedophile that attempted to kill himself by odd. The ambulance picked him up, but just drove around until he died. No one missed him. There was a serial snatcher on St. Thomas Hughes V a few years ago that was really scaring everybody. He predominantly targeted what we called expats who are usually white foreigners coming to work service industry jobs. The locals rely almost entirely on tourism for income, so this is bad news and bad for business. There were posters everywhere for weeks. The docks, ferries, airport all had his face plastered all over the place so he couldn't skip islands. After a while I noticed there weren't any posters anymore of him anywhere in the island. I asked a table of locals and they simply told me that the tide always washes away the trash. He apparently bragged about the snatches in a bar while drunk and a couple guys offered him a cigarette to get him to step outside. They disappeared his ass and threw him in the ocean. I knew a girl who was snatched. She was 14 at the time and was in staying at her, same age, female friend's house for a sleepover. While she was asleep he sodomized her, face down and held a knife to her throat whilst saying if you scream I will kill you. She described graphically how painful it was, and that how she was left bleeding from snatching. She told her brothers slash cousins a few months later. She watched as they cut the skin from his thigh and stapled it to his face. Pretty ducked up. The guy was not killed however. He moved away soon after and she had not seen him since. She went into a terrible depression for at least two years, dropped out of school, started smoking a lot of weed, and slept with a lot of people. She attempted suicide a few times and regularly self-harmed. Two teenagers were being groomed by an old married doctor, looked to be at least in his 70s in the video, and they agreed to allow him to take them out for dinner to celebrate a recent high school team victory. According to the story, they knew exactly what his intentions were. The video starts with them hiding and turning on a camera in what seems to be a small living room. A minute or so later, the old man comes into the shot from a hallway in the back, wearing nothing but underwear. The boys push him into the bathroom. Let me tell you, the screams of that old pedo being stabbed from sounded like at least 20 times still haunt me to this day. I've seen plenty of ducked up videos from the dark annals of the internet, but this one always takes the cake. The whimpering, the cries, the way a man can be turned into fear incarnate within moments of realizing their life is now forfeit, that kind of thing sticks with you forever. The boys then shut the door on him, and lightly ransacked the room for valuables. They left the room for about a minute, and you can see the door to the bathroom creak open, and the old man takes a couple steps into the threshold. It took about three seconds for there to be a pool of blood about three feet wide under his feet, before they came back in, pushed him to the ground back into the bathroom gave him a couple good pokes for good measure, and then walked to the camera while smiling and giving a thumbs up before the footage is cut. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.